On June 22nd, the shocking news broke that Lil TJ was one of the victims in the deadly shooting. Many people were left confused as to why anyone would want to harm Lil TJ. But after police did some investigating, things became more clear. Keep watching to see why Lil TJ actually got shot. A little after midnight, Lil TJ and his crew were hanging out in their car while at Chipotle in Edgewater, New Jersey, when another car randomly pulled up beside them. A man then hopped out and pointed a gun at Lil TJ and demanded he give up his jewelry. But TJ was too prideful and refused the demands, which then led to the robber shooting at the rapper. According to reports, Lil TJ was hit with four bullets in the chest, and things could have gotten worse, but thankfully the rapper had some real ones as friends. Before the rapper could end Lil TJ's life, his crew pulled out their guns and shot back at the gunman. This forced him to jump back in his car and rush away from the scene. And after the incident, Lil TJ was rushed into the hospital. The rapper was in critical condition, and as soon as he arrived, he was rushed into emergency surgery. After several hours, his surgery was a success, and it was announced that Lil TJ was in stable condition. Although this doesn't mean he's on the road to full recovery, since Lil TJ is still unconscious, the rapper could possibly need an organ transplant or even have a permanent spinal injury depending on if his condition worsens in the following days. Sources close to Lil TJ says that the rapper's lung collapsed twice. If this is true, then his recovery process might be worse than we expected. Hopefully Lil TJ pulls through. And as far as the details behind the shooting, it seems many things are starting to make sense. For starters, Police and many people close to TJ are saying that this wasn't a random robbery, but rather an inside job. After all, it is pretty weird that someone would know exactly where TJ was, especially late at night in Edgewater, New Jersey. The only way the robber would know where TJ was at was as if someone gave out info on where he would be at. But maybe TJ knew someone was going to backdoor him. The rapper posted the following on his Instagram story. PSA, just because you've been around a person doesn't make you entitled to the fruits of that person's labor. Envy is at an all-time high. Be safe out here. This was the last thing Lil TJ posted before the shooting happened. So an argument between him and an envious friend could have been the reason for the rapper getting back door. Although this isn't confirmed, it wouldn't be surprising if this turns out to be the case. But the news doesn't stop here. Since police were able to identify and arrest the shooter nearly 24 hours after the incident, the alleged shooter's name is Mohammed Kanaki, and police were able to find him in the hospital. Police said that the gunman had multiple gunshot wounds, so it looks like Lil TJ's crew were able to hit the robber back during the shooting incident. Police connected Mohammed to the crime with several different things, with one of the most bizarre pieces of evidence being his shoes. The shooter didn't have any shoes on in the hospital, and there were shoes left behind at the crime scene. He also had residue from bushes, that were a match with ones from where the shooting took place. But if all this doesn't convince anyone that he's the shooter, then police also have him caught on surveillance footage. So it's safe to say that Lil TJ's shooter is not gonna have a chance in beating this case. Unfortunately though, the robber wasn't the only person charged in the shooting incident. Police charged Lil TJ's crew as well for shooting back at the robber and carrying guns on them. You may be asking how they got charged when they were acting in self-defense. But New Jersey has a strict gun law when it comes to who can own a firearm. So Lil TJ's friends can possibly face jail time as well, which is pretty messed up. But that's just New Jersey laws for you. Many rappers and fans are hoping for a speedy recovery from Lil TJ. One fan said, prayers up for Lil TJ. I really hope he pulls through. Terrible news, man. French Montana posted, pray for my little bro TJ. And rapper Casanova wrote to TJ on his Instagram that he knew better than to get caught lacking and to pick up a bulletproof vest as soon as he gets back from recovery. But Takashi69 had a different reaction to the news. He commented two laughing emojis under an Instagram post that broke news of the shooting. Some people might think that this is out of nowhere, but Lil TJ and 6ix9ine have had beef ever since 6ix9ine got out of jail. Hopefully Lil TJ can make a recovery and come out of this without life-changing injuries. If you thought this situation was crazy, then you'll want to watch one of these videos.